Okay, welcome back to the second part of this tutorial. I'm just going to close this and close this as well. Okay, on the left side, let's copy all of these again. Copy that. Paste it and change and change the details as follows. Okay, this will be known as reference. Let's just change all of this to reference. To reference. Okay. Now, now we have reference in place underneath. I'm going to need employer. Employer's name. So that would be employer's name. No, this is reference as well. Reference. And here, that will be the employer's details. Let's just copy. LBL employer. Employer. Employer right here. Okay, employer name. And this is employer name. As well, copy the same thing here. It should be an R, an R here, and hopefully that'll be all. Okay, now let's see. We have row one here, so this one will be row two, row number two. Column zero, row number three, column one, row number four, column zero, row number five. Okay, let's save it and just see first. Then we we can always carry out any amendment required. All right. That's not bad, but something needs to be taken care of here. Okay, let's come back here. Let's go into the codes and see what happened, what went wrong in there. Okay, in here, that must be where the problem is. If we have row 2, column 0, and I want this to be in the same row, so this will be row 2 as well then the following one that should be row number three and this row number three as well okay let's run it again all right that's much better now that the program is taking shape maybe i should get rid of this main background color as well let's go straight in here right up there up here get rid of that we don't need that anymore that is for the that's just to show me where all the borders are this is for the left side get rid of that okay let's run it i'm going to leave couple and delete them as time goes on okay now it's looking how i want these two borders we have to go as well Let's come down in here. That's red. Maybe just change the color for now. Maybe blue. So I know where I'm going to be next. Alright. So that means I'll be here next. Now. In total we have how many there? Let's see. We have one, two, three, and four. Employer, address, and here we have reference. Okay, I think we need to reduce the size of this. This one, let's come back here, reduce the size. It's not 700 anymore. It'll be about three something. I think it's this I'm working with. Yeah. 
See, it's confusing because you need to know who you're dealing with here. See, that is 100. Let's see what will happen. Okay. Well, let's continue anyway. Now, the left one, this very one, left, inside, left, left, this very one here. If I copy this, we are all the left, there they are. And now I need label and code and so on. Okay, let's try these two first. Let's just copy these two. supposed to be left left let's come here and copy the left inside left left come here change this one two and the name of that to be Inner city, inner city weapon. Oh, let's call it city weapon. Oh, city, city weapon. So just change this one to city. This is city as well. City right here. Okay, let's see what do we have. Actually, be zero. Let's make that zero, and this one will be zero as well. Okay, let's run it and see how it will look. All right, but this is too long. Let's come back in here, change that to about 18. 18, and copy it. So we have one for inner city wages or inner city. Let's just say inner city wages or waiting. I'll make up my mind later on. Come back down here and this will be basic salary. Basic. And basic salary. Yeah. Basic salary. Come here. Copy that. A lot of copying and pasting is taking place because there's a lot of coding involved here. Now, this is zero, this one will be one, column one, one, column two, yeah, this column one, column one, no, this is one as well. No. Yeah, it's column two. It's sort of like confusing, guys. Um, let's, let me just run it and see. Okay. I have this here. But why is it here? It has to be here. Let's come back in here. And see what happened. That's column two. Or should it be row one? Okay, I think this should be zero, column zero, and this one will be column one. Let's save and run it again. Okay, that's much better. Alright, let's get rid of the blue background. The blue background. There. Okay, you see the reason why I changed the background to blue so that I will know where it is. So let's change this one to blue. just to guide just as a guide really now the blue background there is done right so we need we need to add some more component there we need overtime go 
Cross Pay and so on. Overtime Cross Pay. Yeah. Let's try that. Another two. This adjusts all my checkpoints so that I know what's, what's going on. Paste that in there. This will be over time. It's, it's painstaking and sort of like boring, but I think the end result will be will be much better. Let's change this. Change this as well. Okay. Now, if this is one, one, so this one will be two then. Two, and this is two. Okay. That's for the overtime. Now, copy. Change this one to gross pay or gross pay. Come back in here. Paste that. Let's go on gross pay there. Repeat the same thing for this. So this will be three and three. Save and run. Right, that's looking much better, guys. It's looking good. Now we need. Okay, we need some. Component here, we need four of those. Okay. Let's just copy and paste. All right. We'll copy all of this. We have four, one there, this four. Let's copy that. It's going to be a little bit confusing, so I'm going to have to way to get it right so let's come in here let's draw it all along and paste the copied stuff right in here now we need to know the name of that very form the name of that very frame is very important left right so that will be something to do with right left right right i think this very one yeah copy now come down in here and change this one change all of them okay let me change this as well so i'll change it all and get back to you guys okay i've finished the modification to the other side there it is that's from here and from here take it down up to here okay so let's save and run that is how it looks so let's get rid of this background as well maybe increase this text box a little bit let's increase them okay let's come there i think this one here we have it as 36 all the 36 becomes let's go for maybe 50 54 and just change this to 20 54 by 20 okay 54 20 the border change a little bit. Now, 
get rid of the blue color this very one we don't need it anymore there come here see right you see how it's looking now okay so we have tax pension student loan and the ni number okay maybe we should increase these borders as well maybe we should all right maybe we should and those ones are let's just go for 12 and see how it will look like or maybe 14 I don't want it to be too pronounced let's see okay that's not too bad but we need two more component there or two more yeah we, we have that okay we're gonna need maybe gross pay gross pay is there we need deduction and net pay I mean net pay here and deduction here all right let's do that this side of it will be here I have 20 somewhere so I'm gonna 14 here here uh, 14 let's take it back to 10 first and if we have to change it all we do it all at once all right okay, let's go up here. okay right here where the gross pay is we will copy this copy the gross pay dump it right there and change that to net pay this become net net pay yeah that's fine and here that becomes net pay as well there and this is four Rule number four okay on the other side that will become deduction right here copy this that'll be total deduction is that in there and change this to deduction deductions is time consuming but I think the end result will be encouraging so let's see okay here that will be four four and four let's save and run okay that's, that's looking good so we have the deduction there and so on so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of the second part of this tutorial i'll see you guys on the third part